On today's video, I'm gonna show you three different table settings for spring and Easter. Keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Ramon. Welcome back to Ramon at Home. I am so excited you're here today because we're gonna talk tablescapes and table settings for spring and Easter. If you've been following the channel, you know that I love to set a beautiful table for any season of the year, whether it's spring, fall, winter, you name it, because I really believe that if you're going to have guests, everything starts at the table. Any conversation starts at the table, and what better way to give him something to talk about. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you not only how I set my table for spring, but also for Easter, and I'm gonna show you step by step. Keep watching. All right, you guys, so if you've been following the channel, then you know that I absolutely love blue and white. I've been collecting it for a long time, whether it's pottery in China, plates, jars, dishes, but also napkins. And in this occasion, I use a napkin as a charger. It is a really affordable idea I can give you. If you have a beautiful napkin with a pattern, you can always use it as a charger to make your dishes pop. I use a beautiful white dish with a gold rim that I actually found at a thrift store. I found the whole set for under $6 and it's absolutely gorgeous. Now the second plate on top of that is actually a childhood plate. Those are the dishes that my mother purchased many, many, many years ago and she let me have a set of four. She divided it between all of us and so we all get to have a set of four for dinner plates, for salad plates, for saucers and four cups and I love it. It really is a conversation piece because it is from my childhood, so I absolutely love it. All right, so now that I have a beautiful white plate with a gold rim and my childhood plates, I'm gonna use a pink napkin and that is to make those little flowers and details on the dish pop and really a contrast the blue and white pattern. I love the way pink and blue and white look together and it's absolutely gorgeous. On top of that, I'm using a bowl. It's a crystal bowl with a gold rim. And here is the whole a theme that ties it together is that gold on it. It makes it look very elevated and very elegant. And I love these bowls and they also came from a local thrift store, believe it or not. I'm gonna pair this with a gorgeous goblet with a gold rim as well in a pink cup for water. And for the centerpiece, I'm gonna use multiple of these beautiful floral arrangements that I show you how to make on one of our last videos. If you have not seen how to make these potted uh, florals, I'm gonna link the video right now so you can check it out. What I love about this is the juxtaposition of the pots they are made out of clay with all of the elegant gold. It is rustic, it is elegant, and it is so fresh to the eye. I absolutely love it. Then I'm just gonna scatter a few little details like soul cellars and a little a bird uh, on each place setting to really make it look spring-like and more elevated. So I love this look. What do you think? Leave me your comments down below. All right, so for look number two, I love yellow, and yellow is the color of a spring. I remember living in Kansas, and to me, yellow, as the forsythia bloomed, it just meant like spring was in the air. All right, as you guys can see, I'm using a beautiful yellow runner with a gorgeous pattern in it, and it is very geometric, very fresh, and I'm gonna use these gorgeous blue and white plates that I've been collecting for many, many years, and I absolutely love the yellow and the blue and white. It is the freshest combination and the best way to make that blue and white look modern. So on top of that, I'm gonna use another napkin that I love and I love the pattern on pattern play. You can see the pattern on the runner, the plate, and then on the napkin and it looks absolutely fresh and gorgeous. Then I'm gonna use just a plain white dish to kind of break down all the patterns and to tone it down a little bit. But on top of that, I'm gonna use the same plate that I use on my other setting, but on this occasion, I'm gonna use this dessert plate just to bring some other elements into the setting. And for the centerpiece, I'm gonna use a collection of mint julep cups with beautiful yellow Ostromeria. I love the way this looks, it is so fresh. To this, you could add a few bunnies to it in white ceramic and or some little birds also to make it look spring or Easter. All right, so these are the two options that I have for you and now I'm gonna show you how I set my table for Easter and I think you're gonna like it, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna set my table for Easter this year, and it is super simple and super elegant. 
and I'm gonna keep it very neutral but very dramatic. If you've been following the channel, you know I like a statement piece when I'm setting the table. So today I'm gonna show you how easy it really is to set a gorgeous table for your guests and your family. All right, so I already started and I'm gonna gather all of my materials right here. I have my stemware, my dishes, my chargers, and I already have a burlap runner going down the table. So the very first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add these chargers that I've purchased at a local store here in San Diego. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in each place. They are made out of wicker and they resemble baskets. So I wanna keep it very Eastery. And to me, Easter really represents uh, natural elements and one of them it's this wicker and basket so I went ahead and laid all of the chargers down and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lay down these beautiful white dishes with a gold rim that I found believe it or not at Goodwill the whole set for under seven dollars so I'm going to go ahead and lay that down and that's going to make it very elegant I love the way the gold is for any celebration whether it's a wedding or Christmas or Easter so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a plain white napkin. I love these guys right here. This came from Pier One a few years ago and nothing is easier to wash than a white napkin. So I really recommend that if you are hosting, do a white napkin and your napkins always go to your right of your place setting. So I'm gonna put those on the right. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and let's do the silverware first. And for this occasion, I chose this gold flatware that was a gift to us a few years ago from a friend. Uh, but nowadays you can find it anywhere, Target, Walmart, everybody has gold flatware. And I just love the way it looks with a plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my fork to the left and my knife and my spoon to the right. And here's a trick, I don't know if you knew this or not, but spoon and knife have five letters, so that's the word right. So you have to keep them on your right. And fork has four letters, so that's the word left. So you keep them to your left. If you learn this, you'll always set your table right. So knife and spoon to my right and fork to my left. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and add these plates, uh, my mom's plates. This is gonna be the only pattern that's going to be on my table and it has a little bit of pink and green and purple, but it's going to really uh, give it a little bit more of texture, otherwise blend uh, in really neutral palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those to my setting and I also love these plates that my mom had I remember when I was a kid she would not let us touch them she had them on this china cabinet and then she would not let us touch it and now well we all got a set of four so I'm gonna use the heck out of them I'm gonna take advantage they're mine now so I'm gonna use them for all those times that I wanted to use them and I couldn't so I'm gonna go ahead and lay those down then I'm gonna add these really gorgeous crystal balls uh, for a little bit of soup and these were believe it or not from goodwill you guys you have got to keep going back and keeping your eyes open for this i got a set of eight of these gorgeous crystal balls with a gold rim for under ten dollars this is a winner all right so i'm gonna add my balls this can be for a little bit of soup perhaps a little salad it'd be really entertaining i love setting a table like this because it really does give your guests something to talk about and I love having conversation about dishes and napkins and all those things that my guests otherwise would not, you know, see somewhere else. And I also love the way this is looking. And for my stemware, I'm gonna use, once again, Goodwill with a gold rim. You know what, I wanna mention that you do not have to spend hundreds of dollars in all of these beautiful dishes. If you guys can see all of the things that I have right here, I have not spent more than $50 on them. So I really encourage you to go out to your thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets, and look for beautiful things like this because nobody, I guarantee you, nobody would think that all of these beautiful things came from the thrift store. So I'm gonna go ahead and put our stemware and that's gonna go also to our right. So whatever your napkin goes, goes just above it, right here. And you know what? It'd be really simple if we leave it just like this, but because it is, Ramon at home, I have to make a statement. And for that, I have made these gorgeous floral arrangements. They have all these white flowers and I just put a little bit of pussy willow right here, poking out to the left. But this is our Easter representation. These are Easter lilies, they came from Walmart and look how gorgeous these are. So I'm basically going to cover this table with floral arrangements. Now I do have to mention, this is something 
that I would probably take off the table as my guests come. But, you know, for first impression, this is absolutely gorgeous. They were super easy to make. If you guys have not seen the video on how I make these white floral arrangements, I'm going to link it up right now. You can follow that tutorial. But I'm going to do a set of three. I'm going to bring yet another one right here. And I want to make sure that my lilies show first. So I'm going to go ahead and add this guy right here. And this is something that I would take from the table. You can take it off to your sideboard or perhaps some pedestals and just put them near your table. But the fact that you have all these florals right here on your table, they really make a statement when your guests come in. And I cannot wait to hear, read your comments. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what do you think about this particular place setting. And then also if you have a favorite from the three that I show you how to put together. If you guys like this one, give it a thumbs up and share with a friend. That's all I have for today. If you have not seen my video where I show you the three carrot DIYs for Easter, I'm gonna link it up, or you can watch more videos right now. Thank you and until next time, goodbye.